Are you at the stage in your life where you're doing everything right to desire that outcome, that goal that you're seeking to achieve? Are you trying to gain the perfect body or be in the perfect relationship? Are you trying to, you know, do everything the right way? You're following the step-by-step -step program that you've been reading from these books, you learn from seminars, you learn from people, just things that you keep trying to do it the right way. You've seen other people who had success at this and you're taking their tools and you're putting them into your life. But things are just not working for you. They're not changing. You're still going back to those old negative ways and you don't understand why. Well, I'm going to tell you why. And this was happening to me. It's still happening to me. It's going to be happening to us for the rest of our lives because as we were younger, we have been implemented in just struck with negative anchoring and you have to change that. I'll go into an example. So when I was younger, my dad, he spoiled me, right, and spoiled me. He passed away when I was 14, 15, but you know, let's say I'm 13, 12 years old. A typical day for me would just, you know, scream, kick, and holler to get what I want. And my dad would take me somewhere, buy me a new cell phone, two cell phones, camera, go shopping at a store, spend $1,600, and send me back to my mom's house with at least $400 in my pocket. And every day I wake up, you know, whenever I see my dad, he will give me at least $100 to $400, and this is within my teens. So moving up, because we grow up as we get older, but those things are still within us, and if we do not remove them or we do not confront them, they will stick with us, and we don't understand why it's affecting our relationship. So it started to affect every relationship I had with men. So I felt like not only you supposed to spoil me rotten, even though, yes, I do work for my own thing, I have a great work ethic, but I feel that you're not supposed to only spoil me rotten, but it's supposed to be an exceeding amount of money or exceeding like expensive gifts because that's what I'm used to. Well, in reality, that's not realistic. So I had to check myself and I had to change that anchor because I believe that this is what love is because my father, when it comes to love, that's how he showed love for me. So growing up, when I come into relationships, this is why it doesn't work because I'm tying relationships to money and being spoiled. I feel like every week that a man should, I should have a new Chanel sitting there, even if it's just a car to wake up to some flowers, I should be in a great dinner. That's how I feel, that's love to me. And if I feel that someone is not doing that, that they're not speaking my love language. I'm gonna recommend a book because you might be having these problems in your relationship. They're called Five Love Languages and we all have a different love language. Now, I am, proud to say that I have been working on it. It's not something that I have conquered, but it has calmed down. I still expect things because I am a woman and it's within my DNA, but I don't expect you to go above and beyond because that's not realistic. Is there things that you expect in your life like that? Or is there things that you can't get forward in your relationship because a certain way you were treated or things that were done to you when you were a child? You have some people that are addicted to sex and they cannot stay focused on that one person in a relationship because of what was done to them as children. They were raped, they were molested, or you know, performed in sexual rituals. So you have to psychologically go back into time. Your past does matter what's going on with you today. So you can have a great relationship. Sit down and have communication. Tell your partner what's going on. You're supposed to grow together. It's not that you don't have problems and you're trying all these things that work. You just haven't went back and cleaned up the mess. You have to go clean up the mess. Clean it up. Then it'll be a clean surface. You can do it, you can work on it. Make sure you visit my website at MeccaFreeman.com for coaching. I love you all until next time. Peace and love.